everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So round one of the Omega Red Arena is over. We have Cosmic Ghost Rider as the basic. I have both of these champions. In fact, I have Omega Red as a six star, which I recently awakened. So this was a nice, um, relaxing milestone grind for me. Uh, I took it easy, and even right now, I'm taking it easy. I did put up uh, a bit in the uh, Sunday arena only because we have arena wins on. That's the only reason. If arena wins hadn't been on right now, I would have skipped the Sunday arena. But I figured, let me go ahead and run through my six stars uh, and some of my four stars. Just, you know, I'll probably uh, be in there a little bit more later. All right. Let's go ahead and... That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. So, three-star arena, we ignore that. Uh, Four-star, let's take a look in here. As you can see, I put up 1.5 million just for the milestones. All right. Let's see if we can recognize any names that are up here other than these names here, which seem to have been made all by the same person. Uh, I don't know if anyone is still wanting to get this guy. Um, at least not in, you know, the hardcore arena grind circles that I'm uh, familiar with. But if you don't have him, and if you are at that level where you're still using four stars and maybe just started to use five stars, he is a beast. Um, he is, in my opinion, one of the better, uh, mutant champions in the game. And there are so many. So that's saying a lot. Uh, I pulled Omega Red as a six star in 2020. It was the first six star I opened for 2020. I only recently in 2021 awakened him i was hoping to awaken him all year and finally i did that right now the only champion i think i have um as a six star that i took up to rank three that i still want to awaken is ghost so if we can get her awakened it's all good in fact if i get a tech uh awakening gem I'll probably give it to her. Gray Wolf, congratulations, my friend. I'm wondering if you're going for this champion or you just, you know, getting those uh, battle chips in, preparing for July 4, uh, those special deals. I'm already ready, been ready since last year. So uh, I don't need to do any extra grinding, but uh, we'll be ready. Whatever offer they put out, We'll be ready for it. And if you're wondering what I'm doing with my battle chips, Kabam has said that they will be coming out with Cavalier Arena Crystals. Right now, we only have Uncollected. Uh, we don't know what they're going to look like, and we really don't even know when they're going to uh, come out with these. But they've said, they mentioned it, and so I'm kind of trying to hold on. Uh, if I don't need to touch them, to get an offer, then I won't. Uh, but, you know, if there's an offer that I just have to have and I don't have enough units on hand, then, yeah, I'll open those guys up. All right, so that was the top 200 there. Let's keep going. Let me see. Did we look at... Yeah, that was, that was, the, um, that was the Cosmic Ghost Rider um arena that we just looked at all right let's go over to the uh omega red arena i was talking about omega red even though we were in the um cosmic ghost rider arena just because i get confused it's relaxed uh a relaxed sunday and so hmm that's interesting uh so yeah anyway um cosmic ghost rider is fun I just recently pulled him uh, as a five-star. 
and I took him up to rank five. Still would love to get the six star, but the five star is pretty fun. Uh, I haven't used him a lot, but the little that I did use, I can see why people like him. The integral. Congratulations, my friend. Yeah, even a four star um, Cosmic Ghost Rider is, is awesome. So is a four star uh, Omega Red. If you run suicides and you uh, have him awakened at max sig, even a four star puts out a lot of damage. All right. Let's see anybody else we recognize here. Oh, and uh, tomorrow you guys will have a crystal opening. Uh, I went ahead and used my doubloons, and you guys will get to see what I did. And you'll also get to see uh, some six-star crystals open. And I'm quite happy with the opening. That's all I'll say. Now, um, my last video on the uh, arena results... I did something different. I wanted to test it out and I tested it. I went live and did the uh, video live. And then I just clipped it out and posted it as a separate video. I wanted to see how many views it would get versus how many it usually does. And it got less than half of what I normally would get. Uh, so, and it's not that much anyway. So that means most of the people that watch this video were also watching it live and they didn't bother to watch the video. I don't blame them. You know, if you've already seen it, why are you going to watch it again? You know, um, so I probably won't do that again. If I'm going to make the video, I'm just going to make the video uh, like I'm doing now uh, and not do that live. All right. Five star. Let's check it out. That's the score that I put up, 22.8 million. Uh, uh, nice and relaxed. So let's see who got it now. This one was uh, a little difficult to predict. I still don't know what the cutoff was. But he's a really good champion. And he's not exactly new. So a lot of people already have him. In fact, I know of several alliances that would have higher prestige, but they took their six star Omega Red to rank three over a, a, you know, a prestige option. That's how good he is. So can't blame him there, but his prestige is low. But he is definitely one of the top mutant champions. Uh, currently in the contest. All right. Let's see. I do like how he has his name, Dragon Force. I don't know him, but I do like how he uh, has his name. Very eye-catching. All right. Let's see. I don't know anybody else that was going for this guy. A lot of the people that I know that, that grind... Hmm. He also used a different font, font uh, the Dark Knight. I see you. I see you guys using different fonts. Anyway, um, I don't know too many people uh, that normally grind for like new champions unless they just didn't have this guy, which could be. Or they had him and he wasn't awakened. I took my six star to rank two, unawakened. And I used him in Alliance War all the time until McLovin, really, really. Um, I used him until I got the five star maxed out with a uh, max sig. Then I started using the five star over the six star. But the six star was a beast before awakened. He is a beast now. And the more SIGs I could get on him, if I get more dupes on him, I'm good with that. I am very good with that. All right. Apologies if I missed 
uh, anyone here. Not uh, trying to miss anybody's name. And if I did miss your name, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, Pharaoh, congratulations. Um, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what score you put up and uh, what rank you got. All right, that's it. We got to see the top 200. 100 people got the champion that we didn't get to see. So definitely, if you're one of those, leave a comment. Let us know what score you put up. It'll help others who are going for these champions in round two. Uh, we should have a better idea of the cutoff a little bit later. Normally, I don't know what the cutoff is until after the arena starts. So if somebody were planning to um, take time off from work or anything like that, then they would like to know even earlier than that. All right, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.